The first day of March brought with it some first-class entertainment at the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships, with six seeds all in second round action. Roger Federer hadn't lost in Dubai for 11 matches, which would have been ominous news for his opponent Evgeny Donskoy. And the Russian qualifier quickly found out why Federer has been so successful at the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Stadium. So good. Stood his ground, flick of the wrist, found the line. I think the thing is, even if it's a quick match, we're still going to enjoy watching him because it is so incredible. The first set in the bag, Federer appeared to be motoring through the match, but after a floodlight failure halted the match's momentum, Donskoy came alive. In the second set tiebreak, the 26-year-old produced a remarkable turnaround. He's made it! He tempted him, Federer. He said, thank you very much. Another stunning forehand winner. Six His five. tenth. Federer. The Russians saved three match points to take the match the distance. Went to the forehand. Took all the pace out of the volley. That's amazing. And in the decider, having dropped serve while serving for the match, Donskoy again found himself facing a match point. Brilliant. But having repelled that, the world number 116 that had one of his own. He's missed it. The fairy tale that he'll tell his grandchildren, his children, has a happy ending. Evgeny Donskoy, a qualifier. Ranked 116 in the world, has caused one of the biggest upsets in the 25-year history of these Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships. He's beaten the Australian Open champion, the one and only Roger Federer, no less. The top seed Andy Murray squared off against Guillermo Garcia Lopez in the top half of the draw. The early exchanges saw some lengthy rallies from the pair, but Murray's speed across the court proved crucial for him to gain an advantage. He ghosts in like a thief in the night. <laughs> he really does. I mean, he's just got such great court craft, hasn't he? He's got so many options at his disposal. And the movement around the court is quite devastating. So difficult as an opponent to take that on. One set to the good, and Murray then flew through the second set, with Garcia Lopez seemingly powerless to respond. Brilliant. Murray cruising to the quarterfinals here. And Murray secured the second set bagel to book a last eight meeting with Philip yeah, Kohlschreiber. An hour and 12 minutes. Murray through to the quarterfinals of Dubai for the fifth time. And he's swept aside Guillermo Garcia Lopez. Fourth seed Gael Monfils took on Britain Dan Evans, who reached his first ATP World Tour final earlier in the year in Sydney. But it didn't take Monfils long to have Evans under pressure. Okay. Welcome to the big time, says Monfils. Break straight away. That break of serve was enough to secure the opener 6-4. But Evans was a transformed man in the second set and gained a foothold in the match. Okay. Yeah, look at Evans' reaction. He's finally held serve. And he leads 5-2 in the second set. In the decider, Evans seemed to run out of steam, allowing Monfils to run away with things. A gutsy display by Evans, but Monfils into the last eight. That finds the line. Yeah, Monfils wraps up the final set, six games to one. An hour and 35 Five minutes, very Six entertaining four, match. Six, Evans six, will be disappointed the way he faded in that final set. So there would be a new name on the Dubai Trophy this year, following seven-time champion Roger Federer's shock exit.